Okay, in this example, we're going to find both the focus and the directrix of the parabola y equals 2 fifths times x squared. So the way I'm going to uh, kind of approach this problem is, the way I think about it is, we kind of want to write this, um, this equation in a, a certain form. And I'm going to try to write it in the form x squared equals, well, 4 times p times y, and you're thinking, well, hey, okay, there's no p in there. But again, all it really says to do is get the x squared by itself. Okay, we can do that. And then whatever the, uh, the, the, the coefficient is in front of y, we'll sort of rewrite that so that it, it, when we take 4 times the number p, we get the same coefficient. And again, the point is, uh, when we get our p value, it turns out that the line... Um, y equals negative p is going to be the directrix. Directrix. And it says the focus for this type of parabola, it says the focus is going to be at the point 0, comma, p. So again, I'm just trying to rewrite it in this form, and then hopefully it'll be a little bit more useful. So, okay, so let's try to do this. Okay, so we've got y equals 2 fifths times x squared. Okay, well, again, this to me says get the x squared by itself. Okay, so what I'm going to do is multiply both sides by 5 over 2. Right, so 2 fifths times 5 over 2, that would just give us 10 over 10 or 1. So we're left with 1x squared. And then we have, uh, well, just 5 over 2 times y. So now we've almost got it in this form, and maybe I'll just reorder it here. I'm going to write it as x squared equals 5 over 2 times y. Um, obviously, we don't have to do that, but I'm, I'm going to, just to make it look almost exactly like this. Okay, so the idea, again, now it says whatever's in front of the y, that's going to be our value. We're going to rewrite that so that it says 4 times some number equals 5 over 2. Well, okay. It says, so we, we, we need to solve for p. So it says 4 times some number is going to equal, well, 5 over 2. All right, to solve for p, uh, we can just multiply both sides by 1 over 4. Okay, so on the left side, a fourth times 4 will just leave us with p. 5 times 1 is 5. 2 times 4 is 8. Hey, we've got our p value, and now we've done all the hard work. So um, it says the directrix for this parabola, it says our directrix will be y equals negative 5 eighths, so that's our directrix. And then it says our focus for this, uh, this parabola will be 0 comma p or 0 comma 5 eighths. So now we've got, uh, we've got our solutions. So, and uh, the so technically we're done, and you know I always just like to think about it again, just a little bit more. If you think about graphing the parabola y equals two fifths times x squared, well x squared just opens upwards. Two fifths is going to change how it you know is is bending a little bit, but in general that's kind of a rough sketch of uh, our parabola two fifths x squared. And again, it says our directrix is is kind of behind the parabola at y equals negative five over eight. And that certainly seems reasonable. And it says our focus here was at the point uh, 0, 5 eighths, which also seems reasonable. You know, this would be kind of a quick way for me intuitively just to make sure that I didn't make maybe a sign mistake or maybe I didn't switch the coordinates out incorrectly, just little things like that. So, um, again, though, that's kind of all there is to it. So, uh, you know, I think the moral of the story really is just sort of remembering to write it in this form. Well, and then kind of, you know, all the little associated procedures with it.